It Could Still Be a Rock by Alan Fowler. A rock could be any size and still be a rock. It could be a grain of sand, a tiny pebble, a little stone, or a large boulder. It could be the size of a mountain like rock of Gibraltar. Or it could be as big as the whole earth because the earth is made of rock. So is the moon. This uh, rock is a piece of the moon brought back by astronauts. Granite and marble are very hard rocks. Many big buildings are made of granite and marble, but the marbles you play with aren't made of marble. They're usually made of glass. Rock could be red hot and flowing and still be rock. Lava is the melted rock that flows out of a volcano. There is even a rock you can set on fire. People once used this rock to cook their food and heat their homes. You know this rock. It's coal. But did you know that all of the coal in the world used to be plants? These rocks used to be trees, but they are rock today because of the trees became petrified. Yes, living things can change into rocks, but it takes a very long time, millions of years. Fossils are the remains of plants or animals that are found in rock. They show us what living things used to look like even though they lived millions of years ago. How did the plants or animals get inside the rock? When they died, their bodies were covered with mud, clay, or other materials. As ages went by, the layers of materials around the plant or animal hardened into rock. Some rocks, like this limestone, were formed at the bottom of the sea. Seas once covered many places that are now dry land. Everything changes in time. Wind and water wear rocks away slowly, very slowly, and change the shapes of rocks. So something might be shaped like a bridge or a table and it could still be a rock. It might even have a fish inside it and still be a rock. Words you know. Rocks, pebbles, stone, boulder, earth, moon, limestone, granite, marble, rock of Gibraltar, coal, lava, petrified, fossil. The end.